Hi, my name is Sierra Haley. I'm going to be a family nurse practitioner. I'm a 26-year-old registered nurse in Dallas, Texas. I currently work at a specialized neurosurgical practice that focuses on the care of patients with Tarlopsis disease. This disease is not widely recognized in the medical community. It is often dismissed as being asymptomatic. My day-to-day -day work includes coordination of pre- and post-surgical care. The most rewarding part of my current role is helping patients who otherwise would not have received care to hear them and to listen to them when they have not been heard before. I'm currently enrolled in the Master's of Science in Nursing Family Nurse Practitioner Program at UT Austin. I'm in my first semester and plan to graduate in the spring of 2022. I was originally accepted with last fall's submission and deferred as I had to make my own health a personal priority. I originally decided to go into healthcare before the, into the healthcare profession when I was in high school and I did not understand at the time um, why this had to happen, but I saw multiple loved ones undergoing cancer treatment. Um, later, it was pieced together that my family possesses the BRCA1 gene mutation. Once I graduated with my ADN, um, I, in my hometown, I progressed through a BSN program to allow myself the opportunity for more um, growth within the nursing profession. I began to start focusing my, on my own health so I could provide better care to my patients. With this, I got tested for the BRCA1 gene mutation, and I was positive. I then started recommended preventative screenings on my first MRI. Um, I was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer at age 24. With the support of my boyfriend, family, friends, and amazing healthcare providers, I underwent fertility preservation, chemotherapy, multiple surgeries, radiation, and now I have no evidence of disease. During this time, my own mother had a scare with breast cancer, and because I did my screenings, so did she. She underwent a double mastectomy same as I did, that most likely saved her life. This diagnosis has showed me all sides of healthcare. I feel that I've experienced the very best side of it. The impact that I want to make if I was to receive the new ICONS grant from FIGS would be to ensure everyone experiences the best side of healthcare that it has to offer. The community that I currently serve should not be told no and should not be dismissed. There should not be another 24 year old being stopped in their tracks for the news of cancer. In five years, I want to have improved the process of diagnosis and shorten the time of symptoms from the current pa patient population that I serve. In 10 years, I want to accomplish new ways of care for nurse practitioners and open up new doors for them. In 15 years, I hope to find a better, sooner way of identifying a BRCA mutation. And my inspiration comes from the loved ones I've lost. My motivation comes from within. It also comes from those that I'm surrounded by including my boyfriend, my dogs, my family, my peers, and my patients. My go-to song is Congratulations by Post Malone. Um, and this is a song that I had played by my breast surgical oncologist when I went into my double mastectomy with confidence knowing that I would wake up and be cancer free. The new ICONS grant would be life-changing for me as I'm currently working full-time while going to school in person to obtain the best education possible for my future patients. And I really want to say a big thank you to Figs for this opportunity.